Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have the second update for the Graveyard Project Pan. This is a project that was started by Emily, and she's listed down below. If you guys look in my description box down below, you'll see I do have a lot of information down there. I have a playlist of everybody who's doing this project. We also have a, a list of everybody who's participating because some people aren't just doing it here on YouTube. They're doing it over on Instagram. And then I also have my previous updates if you want to go back and look at those. I also have listed down there all of the products I'm working on in this project in case you guys are curious about any of that and want to see exactly what products I have. So this project is called the Graveyard Project Pan. It started on April 30th, goes all the way till Halloween. And there are two categories of products in here. There are the resurrection products. These are the products that are in your product graveyard that were in a previous project pan that you didn't quite finish or didn't hit your goal on. And so you're gonna resurrect them and bring them into this project. And then there's also the collecting cobwebs. These are the things in your um, collection that are pretty old and they're collecting cobwebs and just need to be used up. So we could choose between five and ten products to put into this project. It is a rolling project pan and I chose six. I put three in the resurrection category and three in the collecting cobwebs. So we are doing uh, updates every other month. So even though it started in April, we've had one update in June, and then this last day of August is our second update, and then our next video will be the finale on Halloween, October 31st. So as I get into all of these, I will be showing you guys pictures of what it looked, uh, of each of these products look like at the intro, what they look like last update, and then I will be showing you what they are this update. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the resurrection category. And for that, I had an eyeshadow. This was the MAC Vanilla Eyeshadow. When I first rolled it in, it did have a little bit of pan in it. Uh, for last update, I used it 48 times and expanded the pan quite a bit more. And for this update, I used it an additional 36 times. And as you can see, it is completely empty. So I have finished off this eyeshadow right here. The next item I was working on is another MAC eyeshadow, and that was in the shade Floof. When I first rolled it in, I did have some pan. Uh, maybe I repressed it, I'm trying to remember, it's a couple months ago, but it did have pan. I repressed it uh, when I started this. I had used it 53 times and had really big pan in it last time. And I did use this one an additional 18 times and this one is completely gone as well. So I have finished two MAC singles in this project and I am so happy about that. The next item in my resurrection category is the MAC eyeliner in black track. When I first rolled it in, I did have a little bit of the jar showing at the bottom. Um, I used it 53 times for the last update and I had a lot of the jar was gone. I did use it an additional 35 times and this one is completely gone. This is the first uh, gel eyeliner that I have ever finished. So I am thrilled about this one as well. So all three of my resurrection category products are completely finished. So let's go on to the collecting cobwebs category. I was working on a soft brown that I decluttered and then I rolled in a brand new soft brown. I did use it 29 times as of the last update and it still looked brand new. There was barely even a dent in there. And since then I have used it an additional 56 times. And as you can see, I have finally hit pan in here. It took me 70 uses to hit pan in this eyeshadow. So I've used this a total of 85 times and I am wearing it down pretty evenly as you guys can hopefully see, um, which is why it has taken me so long to hit pan. Um, this one originally the goal was to hit pan in here. I have hit pan, but I do wanna keep going with this and just see how much more work I can get done on this over the next two months. Next, I was working on my MAC paint pot in Painterly. I had used this one 55 times since I first rolled it into the product project. I didn't have any jar showing. Then at the next update, it did have a little bit of jar showing and I did wanna to try to make it over to the side. Well, since then I have used it an additional 56 times and this is what it's looking like so far. I have used this one a total of 111 times so far in this project. 
Um, again, I, my original goal was just to hit the bottom of the jar, but I just want to keep going on this and just see how much more use I can get on this uh, over the next two months as well. The final item I have been working on is my Neutrogena pressed powder. This was I had used it once, maybe twice, when I started uh, this project. I'd used it 53 times, and then I hit pan in it for the last update, and I decided to just keep going with it, and I've used it an, addi an additional 55 times, and this is what it's looking like now. As you can see, I have quite a lot of pan showing. I've used this a total of 108 times. There is a little bit of hard pan on this side, which is why it's taking a little bit longer to wear this side down, and this is where I'm focusing my brush now. Um, I don't want to repress this unless I absolutely have to because I'm afraid once I do that, I'll get hard pan everywhere. Um, so I'm just gonna keep using this until I absolutely have to repress it. I don't know if I will be able to finish this one by Halloween, but I'm gonna give it a try and just see uh, how much use I can get out of this. So, like I said, 108 uses so far and still going. So those are the six products I was working on since I have finished three, it is time to roll three new items in. Now all three of them came from the resurrection category, however, this is my first year panning, so I really don't have a lot of things that have rolled out of projects. The only things that have rolled out so far is lots and lots of eyeshadows, and I am working on so many of them that I really didn't want to roll in three new eyeshadows. So I've chosen to roll in three items that fall into my collecting cobwebs category, so all six of the products I'll be working on are from collecting cobwebs. So. The first one I am gonna do, I am gonna do one eyeshadow. And this is the eyeshadow called Texture from MAC. It is another single. All of my MAC stuff is my oldest, as you can tell, which is why I'm putting a lot of it in here. Now, I hit pan on this originally, and then I repressed it and I hit pan again. So I'll show you what it looked like uh, earlier this week. And then I did repress it for this, uh, for this update, and this is what it is looking like right now. It has a very thin layer all over the bottom, and this is what it looks like swatched. It's just a beautiful medium tone matte brown. Um, there is very little product in here. It is, like I said, just a thin layer on the bottom, but I'm putting it in here because this is one item that I want to have finished this year. I wanna have another eyeshadow empty, so I really think I can do it if I concentrate on this one. The next item I wanna put in here is this Laura, Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I opened this and used it a couple times and then for some reason put it away and never use it again. So I have had this for quite a while. It is open and I just need to use it. I was trying to um, get it to settle so I could mark it and I, let's see if it'll show up here. I think it's like somewhere up around here and I was about ready to mark it but then I opened up the top of the jar and there is so much product up here that I really don't think that that marking would be accurate at all. So I'm basically gonna call this one brand new. I have just used it a handful of times and I'm just gonna see how much I can use up over the next two months for this one. And the final item I'm rolling in, I know I am crazy. I comment all the time. I don't know how people work on multiple face products at the same time, but I am going to roll in a blush. And I am currently already working on a blush in my Fifty Shades of Pink Project Pan, but this one is my oldest blush. This is a MAC blush, and I think it's in the shade Blush Baby. The entire sticker off the back is so worn. That's how old this is. I've had it for years. And I do have pan in it. Um, and so I'm just going to keep working on this. I think the product is still good. Um, I can give you a swatch of it. It's a beautiful pink shade. So this is the blush right here. It is a very pretty color. It still seems like the product is good. It doesn't have any hard pan on it. So I'm just going to see how much I can get how much use I can get out of this over the next two months. There's no way I'm going to finish this. So um, Again, this is just more for usage because this is one, uh, probably the oldest thing in my collection. So for the next update, I honestly don't think I will have finished this painterly paint pot, but I think I will get it down to maybe just where there's a quarter of the jar left. I don't think I will quite finish this one up either. This one I am using as 
a uh, contour. I, it's a very, I would say, um, mid-tone brown compared to the bronzer I'm using. The bronzer I'm using is very warm and orange. So I use this kind of as a contour to basically lay down a very light um, layer of color on my cheeks and across my forehead. And uh, then I use less of the orange bronzer so that I'm not quite so orange. So that's how I've been wearing this. And I also wear it as an eyeshadow whenever I do a neutral look. I might be able to finish this one up. I'm hoping I can, but I'm not going to waste product at the same time, but hoping to have this one finished. This translucent setting powder, there is 29 grams in here. That is a lot of product. I might have a third of the jar done. <laughs> and then I really think I will have this one done. And again, the MAC blush, we'll just see how, how that one goes. So that is everything I have for you guys today. Please don't forget to go and check out everybody else's channels and also on Instagram and see everybody's progress on this. It is only every other month and so there is a lot of progress on these items since we're not updating monthly. While you're down there looking at that list, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by.